the internet can be a very hateful place sometimes, especially if you're a trans person or if you're perceived to be trans. For example, this person tweeted out a picture of actor Daniel Radcliffe with his girlfriend, Erin Dark, implying that she's trans because, I mean, I guess she's taller than him and she doesn't fit what this person views as like a typical cis woman's appearance but she's not trans this is a cis woman who's actually pregnant but even if she was trans who cares they look really happy together and their relationship doesn't concern you but the reason why i'm assuming this person targeted daniel radcliffe is because one they're bigots and two it's because he's been an outspoken advocate for trans rights and even hosted a sharing space for the trevor project and the trans day of visibility so obviously daniel radcliffe can't just be a cis straight dude who cares about human rights there's got to be some ulterior motive he's got to be secretly dating a trans woman or something in order to care but believe it or not some people just care because they're good people or maybe they know somebody who's trans which brings us to our main subject of this video, Mr. Beast. Now, longtime viewers of Mr. Beast know that Chris Tyson is one of his friends who's been featured prominently in many of his videos throughout the years, but some people started to notice changes with Chris's appearance. For example, Twitter user Blix compared two photos of Chris asking, bro, WTF happened. Now, Chris actually responded saying, HRT, and it's only been two months. And they followed up explaining, informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles gender nonconforming people have to jump through to get life-saving gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. And in a previous tweet, Chris responded to a different person saying, just a heads up, someone finding themselves does not always mean they are now X identity. However, this is a great time to say trans rights are human rights. Let people exist and be happy. And if this makes you mad, enjoy being on the wrong side of history looking back. So I thought this was really cool. They're finding themselves and they haven't designated which pronouns they want to use. And they're not even necessarily sure that they're trans yet, but they're finding themselves and they're certainly gender nonconforming and they're just happy. And people are shitting on them for being happy. And, you know, I'm sure that it's really a liberating time for Chris, who's going through this change. But doing it publicly has got to be intimidating. But thankfully, Chris's friends seem to be really fucking awesome, including Mr. Beast, because they not only showered them with love and support, but Mr. Beast went out of his way to ratio the trolls who tried to badmouth his gender nonconforming friend. For example, Carl, another staple of Mr. Beast's videos, responded saying, fuck the goofy motherfuckers, keep running your own stuff. And Chris responded saying, Carl, thanks for being an inspiration to me and so many other people to be happy and comfortable being yourself. Nolan, who's also featured heavily in Mr. Beast's videos, responded saying, saying, holy smokes, I'm proud of you. And Mr. Beast responded saying, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. Now, Mr. Beast also came through in a different thread where Chris was being criticized, saying, here to help with the ratio. Now, a bigot responded to Chris coming out, saying, in a few years, look back at this thread. And remember, they were never your friends, only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Now, Mr. Beast responded to that individual, saying, opinion irrelevant, ratio. And he did indeed ratio him. And that's it. This was just a really wholesome moment where a group of young dudes vociferously defended their gender nonconforming friend against online ridicule. And it just, it gave me so much hope because Mr. Beast has a massive, massive platform. This is the number one YouTuber right now. And millions of people now get to learn about Chris's experience through Mr. Beast. And it's not like the transition of Chris is the focus of Mr. Beast's videos, but they're finding themselves and people can see that. They can see how happy Chris is as a result of being on HRT and finding out who they really are. And that matters because a lot of people by default may not like trans people or may not care because they don't know anyone who's trans. And to them, Chris is going to be that one trans person that they know or feel like they know. And that is extremely powerful. It changes minds. I can tell you firsthand experience, my family was extremely homophobic. That is until I came out and they realized that they knew someone who was gay. And now knowing that gay people aren't scary monsters because they can put a face to gay people, 
they're not hateful. In fact, they're very accepting, not just of gay rights, but trans rights too. So in conclusion, the internet, it can be a really scary place for trans people, but it also presents trans people and LGBTQ plus people and other marginalized voices, oftentimes shut out from the conversation, with a really unique opportunity to tell their own stories. And even though online dogpiles can be really frightening, it also shows you who your true friends are, and it tells you that there are some good people who are willing to defend you, even though there's nothing to be gained from that. And that should give us hope for humanity, hope for future generations that they're willing to stick their necks out and do what's right. I mean, online, Mr. Beast has a lot of really weird, like, reactionary followers. And it's nice to see him come out in favor of his friend who is gender nonconforming and say, fuck the haters. If you don't accept my friend, I don't accept you. In fact, fuck you. It's really great to see that. So all I have to say about this is I hope that this story put a smile on your face because, you know, oftentimes I focus on really negative stories and how can you not be overly negative and cynical in this current time? We see hundreds of anti-trans bills, appro uh, you know, proposed in legislatures across the country. So it's easy to get overwhelmed if you're a trans person and feel like the world and the walls is, you know, uh, are closing in on you. But there are people who care and these loud, hateful voices, believe it or not, are the minority, even if they're loud and they're making it seem as if their opinion is prevalent, but it's not. Most people support trans people. Most Americans support trans people. Don't take it from me. Look at public opinion polls. So despite the hate, there are good people out there and stories like this really demonstrate that. So, you know, I was kind of, I had mixed feelings on Mr. Beast, but my respect for him shot up. And, and I, I feel like, you know, this is a really low bar to support your friend as they're finding themselves, right? But still, to accept his friend unconditionally, it's just, it really says a lot about him and the friends that he has. So I really love this story and uh, good luck to Chris. It's really nice to see this young person discovering themselves and just being open about who they are. That is something that is very liberating and just beautiful to see. So um, yeah, I, I love this story so much and I just wanted to share it with you.